There are several reasons, um, as shown in Skip's video, uh, why a brush would not particularly paint on a new layer. Uh, in this case, uh, with the Sargent brush Impasto, and I'm going to drag it in here, this brush, um, if we open the general brush controls, uh, we can see that this is a captured uh, brush uh, dab. The stroke type is single, the method is plug-in, and the subcategory is liquid brush. Now, the liquid brush is the issue in regards to you seeing the impasto uh, when you paint on a new layer. You won't see any color, but you actually will see the raised impasto effect there. Um, so you've pretty much taken into account, and I want to move my layers palette over here too, that uh, we have uh, pick up underline color, but what the real issue is with this brush is that it's based upon plug-in and uh, the subcategory is liquid brush. So in order for this brush to actually paint on a layer, as I explained, uh, you could duplicate the canvas layer. Oftentimes that becomes problematic in the respect that you do have a lot of impasto on that canvas layer. So it's obviously going to double up and make that impasto appear even more um, exaggerated. So that would probably not be my uh, the way that I would approach it. Um, I know that this brush is not going to change in regards to a lot of the uh, aspects of the brush by simply changing the method. So my suggestion, as long as that uh, sketch is on its own layer and is set to multiply to the point where you have that transparency, that translucency that you can see the sketch, then by adding additional layers to actually paint on, um, I think that would be your best bet. Because otherwise you may find yourself having to work with composite methods and changing them and will change the aspect of the paint and the look of the paint quite a bit. So to do that I would go to my general brush controls. I would change this to cover method and I would use the soft cover approach. So when I start to paint on this layer I still have that lovely opas um, um, impasto effect but <coughs> I don't have uh, you know I, I, I didn't have to duplicate duplicate that layer. So you can see that now um, as I go and add additional layers, you know, I can continue to paint layer upon layer and I don't, you know, I don't have to worry it. It also gives me the flexibility to uh, work with composite methods to change them if I need to and uh, to also add or delete layers uh, or collapse layers or group layers as I need to. Um, so that would be my suggestion. Um, I do like to, um, and I'll see if I can pull this down, uh, with, this, with this brush you can also work with the jitter settings and some of the uh, advanced brush controls uh, with this particular brush, uh, spacing, angle, uh, well and impasto. <clears throat> you can see that the depth is pretty pretty strong on that brush so you could you could definitely you know work with impasto uh, to make it not uh, you know not as evident as it is. But uh, based upon what you're trying to do in this particular painting this would be my suggestion because I think if you duplicate that canvas layer and then start to paint um, and I, I'll, sh I'll show you this as well. Uh, control A to select the canvas and then selecting the layer adjuster, holding down the Alt or Command key, and what we get is a duplicate, duplicate of that canvas layer. Now, in the default brush state, okay, um, and let me let me find the brush here and get it back to default. Notice now when I go 
back to the default settings for that particular brush, sending it back to plug-in method and liquid brush, I can begin to paint on that layer. And if you didn't have such heavy impasto on that canvas layer, I would say, you know, that would be my suggestion is you just duplicate the layer <coughs> and then continue to paint on it. Uh, there again, you have that flexibility to use composite methods uh, to change the appearance of those particular layers. Um, you could uh, delete uh, or clear, I'm sorry, the uh, the canvas layer here. So let's go Control A, Backspace, and clear that. And then at that point, all you would need to do, if you wanted to continue uh, working with that original duplicate of the canvas with without the impasto, because you'll notice now that once you've deleted that canvas layer, and you just simply duplicate the layer. Um, uh, you'll find that uh, you know your your impasto will be uh, less you know less strong less visible. Um, but first of all, I would uh, you know just go ahead and uh, you know determine how you want to work here. So ultimately, I think um, you know if you weren't working with all the impasto, um, I think duplicating the layer would be the way to go. But in uh, in this case, I would just simply uh, change the method to cover, uh, experiment with uh, soft cover, grainy cover would be another one that you could you could choose here, and you may get a nice effect with that brush as well. Um, so hopefully that helps. I think you've, you're off to a good start with a lot of help here. So take care.